Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you'd like my personal help, then visit the description below this video. There's a number of ways you can connect with me or we can set up a free call where we jump on Zoom and I can ask you some questions, see where you are where you're, with your business and share with you some actionable steps that you can take this week to grow and scale. So today I want to talk about the pitfalls of the paper session model. Now, this is a conversation I've been having with coaches recently who have been booking calls with me. We've been getting on meetings and they've pretty much been saying, Leo, the paper session for me, I'm struggling, especially now in the winter months, with getting clients to actually show up. So this is a very common problem a lot of coaches have. And I want to share with you four reasons why you need to stop the paper session and transition your clients into something more of a longer commitment uh, so that you can get results, but also so that you can protect your business as well. So in front of me, I've got four main yellow uh, highlighted uh, things that I'm going to talk about today. So the first one is lack of time for major results. So what a lot of coaches do is they, they get clients to book these one-off sessions with them where the client shows up, they pay at the session, and then everyone goes home. Now, that is fine if you if you're working on a specific problem with that with that client. But really and truly, if you want to get major results with them, then that's not enough time to actually get results. And something I see with a lot of coaches is they tend to rush the sessions. All right, so if a parent comes in, they, they want to book a one-off session with you, the coach tries to implement different areas of the game in a short space of time. So for example, they might, in that, in that one session, they might do dribbling, they might do shooting, they'll do all these different uh, technical development sessions in one hour, where really and truly that's more detrimental to your clients rather than helpful. Okay, so that is one major problem of the paper session model. It's that you're trying to do so many things in that one session and it's not getting major results in the long term. If you get more committed clients to do three, six or 12 month commitments, then you have time to build up to different, different problems that they are having, right? And you can solve those problems over a longer period of time. Now, the second one, financial uncertainty for coaches. Uh, this is a common one as well. <clears throat> and especially in the winter months, if you're running your, your sessions by paper session, then the winter is normally is very hurtful for most coaches because a lot of parents don't want their child to be outside. Okay, it might be windy, it might be rainy, it might be damp, it might be snowing. Right, parents don't want their kids to be outside, potentially getting ill. Uh, so the winter months, if you're running your sessions per session, so a pay per session a uh, business, then. Unfortunately, you're going to come through a lot of financial uncertainty during this period of time. And that's just simply because of the weather uh, and because a lot of parents are very against having their kids out for so long. OK, so outside in, in, in the cold weather. OK, and that what that creates is maybe one month you, you might do really well financially. And then the other month, the weather gets worse because we're in winter. It's normal. Uh, and then you might be bringing in less money than you were last month. OK, and that comes down to seasonality, but also comes down to financial uncertainty because you don't know what clients are going to show up. Right. And if you're just doing it pay per session and you've got 10 clients that you're normally seeing, right, there might be a month where you only see two. So you might only get, be getting paid for the, from those two clients okay so a lot of financial uncertainty that's why we always uh, try and encourage coaches to move away from the paper session because 
it that's what it creates especially when you're going through uh, the winter months uh, limited flexibility for clients so this kind of comes down to the first one in the sense that sometimes clients want more than just pay per session all right and this is where a lot of coaches don't actually take the time to get on a call with Mrs. Jones or, or the or parents and actually ask them, what's your commitment level like? What, what do you guys want to do? Right. What they will do is they will just sell them on a block of five sessions and then that's it. Okay? And then they try and resell them after. What parents might want is they might want something which is a bit of a longer commitment so that their child can benefit from it. Right. A lot of coaches think that, right, parents are just going to want the five sessions and that's it. OK, and that you as a coach is going to you're going to work magic in those five weeks. But the truth is a lot of parents don't want that. Right. A lot of parents do want a longer, longer commitment and they are willing to pay a little bit more for that. OK, so that is why the paper session model for me doesn't work because it, it creates a, um a limit limited flexibility for parents because sometimes you know five weeks isn't enough for their child to get anything out of your training but if you're offering something which is at least three months minimum then within the three months there's more chances of them developing and actually getting results with your coaching um the fourth one in insufficient use of time so this is this comes down more to the organization all right so well, let me let me break it very sim very in a very simple way a lot of coaches that i work with or a lot of coaches that i speak to what they are doing right and the ones that start working with our company we push them to transition differently but the ones that are very focused on staying with this paper session model what they don't realize is if they're charging $50 per hour or per session, right? There's more to that hour, right? It's not just the, the coaching that you are doing. You have to travel to the session. You have to run the session. You've got to plan the session, right? You've got to communicate with parents before the session. So really and truly, if, if, if you add all the time up, into what you're getting paid right then you realize that right my session's very cheap because i'm doing a lot for very little amount of money and also you've got to remember if you're if you're driving to the session right that's going to cost you money in in gas so a lot of coaches they're very fixed on this right 50 50 per session wow it's you know it's a lot of money i'm doing well but then when they sit down and realize the amount of time they lose, they're losing because of that, right? They don't realize that that is actually not very uh, expensive, right? And I should be charging more for my time, okay? So if you need help transitioning from paper session to something more committed, right? So where your clients are, are committing for three, six, or even 12 months with you, reach out to us, right? Reach out to me specifically in the description below. Connect with me. Love to jump on a call, see where you're currently at, and show you different ways you can make this transition, right? Don't stay stuck with this paper session model. It's a model that is very old school. It doesn't work anymore long term. It might work on a one off a one-off basis but long term if you want to do this full time you need to get clients a little bit more committed and paying you a higher uh, rate for your sessions okay thank you for watching and if you need more help again reach out to me description below and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content